So John, tell us the history of this palm, the this Miami the, Palmetto. The Miami Palmetto, the sable Miamiensis. It's the tell rarest the history. sable in Florida. It's there's a species called a scrub palmetto, sable atonia, and it grows all like from North Florida to Lake Okeechobee in the ridge, the high interior ridge land where it's real scrubby, so they call it the scrub palmetto. And it almost never makes a trunk. It stays you know, almost always stay, the trunk stays underground or it grows like a palmetto sideways. But sometimes we think maybe they're crossing with the palmetto because sometimes they make a trunk. And that's why I was telling you when we take a trip, it'd be nice to go see them because right at the southern part of the ridge, if you look, you can tell that not all those cabbage palms are cabbage palms. Some of them are trunking sable atonia or hybrids maybe, maybe. but they have these really big seeds mm -hmm. except the, the sable atonia seeds are bigger than the ones i've seen these trunking sable atonias that i like are have bigger seeds than this but maybe this is a baby but this one comes from the other side of lake okeechobee in the what they call a rock land in miami it's like a rock rocky ridge with pines and palmettos and thatch palms and stuff and it's real scrubby, but it's rocky anyway. The atonia always grows where it's acidic, like in these really acidic sand dunes. It doesn't like limestone soil, so this is like an atonia, the scrub palmetto, but it likes the rock band. Mm -hmm. And there's also a whole bunch of um, sable palmettos that are making seeds, but they don't have any trunk, but they got tiny little sable palmetto seeds. Mm -hmm. So it's like a rock land palmetto. So the idea is maybe they've been hybridizing because the sable palmetto will grow in wet soil, dry soil, acidic soil, limestone, it doesn't care, it grows everywhere. That's the prettiest specimen. That's that's like the rarest one out there. One to propagate and keep it alive. This so is the date. Heat and date. It's the most cold hardy phoenix species. You have some of these growing? I used to, but they get they're really rot sensitive. And you got to spray them with fungicide all the time, so I just kind of quit growing them because hmm. it's annoying. I like the Sylvester, the Indian wild date, because it's more tolerant of humid, humid Condition. climates. What's the fruit look like? Well, it's not bad, but it's not that good. Is it? Either. Is it a uh, what color is it? You know, it looks like a little date, but it's got a thin fruit. It tastes pretty really good. How cold hardy? About fifteen. That's not bad. Whatever the fruits I got from the from the store, you know, the, the dates that were kind of orange. Oh, yeah. They seem to have some cold tolerance to them. Yeah, those, yeah, those are cold hardy like pan, really.